welcome or welcome back to another vlog. My name is Abby Austin. If you're new here, and I am on my bachelorette trip. So today is Thursday, September 28th, and we are in 30A. And if you are new here, I grew up in Panama City Beach, so 30 minutes east of 30A. So I've grown up kind of coming here as a home away from home, definitely so full circle because like in high school we would go to rosemary beach and just like split desserts because it was all we could afford to do with friends and now as like an adult to come here and like actually be able to spend my hard-earned money at these places that i didn't necessarily get to experience when i was younger is just amazing and i'm just so grateful for this trip and time to spend with my friends and also with my family because I came in two days ago and drove in with my brother because my dad does a paddleboard race for charity every weekend or not every weekend definitely not every weekend every year um the same weekend of the year so it's happened to be the same weekend as my bachelorette trip this year just because it's the only weekend that really worked out with all of my bridal party so my brother was also already coming in town so it's been really nice to be able to spend time with family the last few days and just have the help of like my mom like with getting groceries this morning and everything it's just nice because being close to home there's like so many things that are going to be a lot more stress-free for this trip which is nice for me like we're not gonna have to worry about groceries because they're already taken care of where i feel like you normally have to like go on a grocery trip once everyone gets there especially if it's in a location where like nobody lives or nobody's been to but we're at the airbnb and my maid of honor logan and one of my best friends and bridesmaids best friend first bridesmaid second um is inside setting up and they're surprising me they know i love surprises so they're setting everything up and we got here like 30 minutes ago and unloaded a couple things and i did the little tour but i'll go ahead and input here in a second we just made it to our airbnb it's literally so cute this is like where you walk in got a lovely dining area which is going to be perfect for all of us little entryway and it's like 2 30 we just did like an early check-in and the kitchen is so stunning um there's lots of little details she has this left us some prosecco love a kitchen all the appliances the living room is really really cozy it's got a little electric fireplace and then a little laundry room everything's decorated really like cute and cozy the outdoor space is to die for there's like so much outdoor seating there's pool floats little pool um, I think there's a little fire on the other side of this. We'll go out there soon. Hammock over there. And then right here by the kitchen, we have this like guest room where like four or five people are gonna sleep. It's two queens and then twins, little ping pong table, more seating, access to outside, a TV. Feels nice and cool in here. It's like a little add-on. There's a nice coffee machine, a margarita machine, I believe. Yeah, coffee and a marg machine, love that. A little half bath and then the main entrance here's like a king bed it's a very roomy room and then it has an attached bath very very cute lovely shower with a waterfall head and then another king room i think this is where me logan and my sister-in-law are staying little tv closet beautiful bathroom with like the most insane soaking tub and like just sinks and everything it's literally so cute but we're about to unload everything because people are going to be getting here kind of all evening so um and then we'll get ready for dinner but i'm going to take a few pictures of the place before it gets all messy and then we'll start getting ready three girls will be getting in before dinner um so we'll have six of us i think tonight for dinner so it'll be a smaller group and then it'll be all 10 of us except for one of griffin's sisters the rest of this weekend so i'm super excited and i'm just so thankful to have this time with friends and something i want to say is that it's so hard as an adult with your friendships and i've talked to my friends and my family about this there's definitely a little bit of anxiety that comes with putting all of your friends together when you're not somebody that has a friend group and it's more so of just people from different phases of your life um, kind of coming together but i think it's going to be great a lot of the girls have thankfully like already met each other even though it's been like one-off instances and not really where they've spent a lot of time together a lot of people have at least like met at least one person here so that makes it a little bit easier but regardless i am so thankful for all of my friendships and you know all of my friendships are different so it's like funny because some of these people i haven't even gotten to catch up with in the last like six to nine months so it's like we aren't even really going to be able to probably individually catch up that easily but we're going to be in like a group setting together but then other people i've 
live closer to so I'm able to see more often but I am just I can't express my gratitude enough for everybody coming here and taking time and out of their schedules out of their weekends and spending the money to celebrate me because I know that it can be a lot price wise between split 11 ways for three nights it was 220 a person which I feel like is pretty good compared to what you typically pay like for a hotel night after night for three nights so I thought that was a really solid deal for a place in 30A. The area we're in is right past Alice Beach and it has like a private beach access, which is really nice. Um, not like in the yard or anything, but like you walk down the street and the private beach access is kind of there. So, so excited. And I'm just, I don't have no idea how much or how little I'm gonna vlog this weekend. I just knew I wanted to document the time here and the time we get to spend because it's just such it's something I want to remember forever because I'm not somebody that gets to see their friends a lot because my friends are all over the country having this time just means a lot to me so I just want to be able to like look back on it and have the memories but we spent this morning kind of bopping around seaside and 30a because my friend Megan flew in yesterday because she is from Seattle so she flew in a day early just because it's you know big time change a lot farther of a flight so she came in last night so we wanted to show her 38 because she's never been so we just like went to seaside and stuff because we weren't really sure if we'd like make it over to seaside this whole weekend but i have never bought a seaside like sweatshirt t-shirt anything which is just funny because i feel like everybody has one and i don't and i like have grown up so close by it but i guess that's why i don't have one and i knew when i found out that we were going to be coming here to 30a that i wanted to get a white t-shirt or sweatshirt so i got one of the corded white ones just for my like fiance era and it makes it mean more since i don't i've never bought one myself i do have a seaside t-shirt that was like gifted to me but it wasn't one that i bought myself so this is the first one i've bought and i got that earlier so it's special and i'll have it to wear this weekend because honestly it's been a little chilly with it being overcast and the wind blowing but i think the weather's gonna be great all weekend and I'm just excited to spend some time in the sun with my favorite people and have a great time. So, yay, happy batch. And for my outfit for today, I just wanted to kind of be an athlete just since I knew we'd be walking around. Um, I'm carrying my little free people, like crossbody. Well, it's not really crossbody. Sling, whatever you want to call it, kind of sits on my back. It's so cute. It's suede. And I'm obsessed with this lately. It's been like my favorite recent purchase because I've just been carrying it everywhere. And then little free people movement tank top, princess belly necklace, aligned leggings, and then I have on my hokas. I've got my little Ray-Bans and I'll have this outfit linked down below and I'm gonna link like everything I can for outfits, the Airbnb itself. I'll link everything I can below so that y'all can check it out. Sorry, you're recording. Set it on the island, I guess. Like Facebook. Yeah, let me make sure it shows good first. I'm gonna put it on the island so I can see your face. Mmm. One minute, Abby. Fancy. Look at how good. Okay, one minute. This reminds me of college. She's black. Okay, you're good. Surprise! <laughs> oh my gosh! Do you love it? I love it. Wait, the top. That yours is yeah. Yours is the white one. Oh my god! I got you a veil. Oh, that's so cute. Cute, right? Oh my god! I love my cheeky. And then you see what's up. I think my family needs to buy a hairbrush yesterday. I know. I only got one last week too. I know all y'all that contributed to this. Mm -hmm. I actually thank you for yeah, of course. You know, doing everything. This stuff is so cute. It so cute for like barrel stuff and then in these dish shorts I'm gonna throw on like a little cowboy hat and I'm so excited. Here is tonight's outfit. Like a little um veil. Princess Polly dress. 
I'm getting my lip liner on right now, and I think I'm gonna wear some nude heels, but I don't have figured out yet. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> <I did> this. <laughs> Wait, is it rolling? <laughs> it's from Urban Outfitters, and these are shoes from Steve Madden. Can you see? <laughs> There's pepper mayo, these are bleedy. Uh, yeah. Amazon, Amazon, literally. Amazon. Woo! Woo! Wait, Hello, everyone. My dress is Amazon. <laughs> Shoes are Steve Madden. Purse YSL. That's about Woo! it. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> dress is Amazon. The shoes are actually real. Pattery. Paris. University of Florida. Go Gators. No. That's it. <laughs> the dress is Dillard's. Um, the shoes are Sam Edelman. And. Cartier. The ring is my husband. <laughs> the dress is Emerson Gray's. So good. Shoes are Macy's suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> Jewelry is my sister's closet. Earrings are two different ones because I couldn't find the matching <laughs> ones. <laughs> from anthropology. I really don't even know. <laughs> and necklaces from sister. Um, set is Princess Polly. Boots are oh. Tony Bianco. <laughs> um, Princess Polly rings. I don't know where these are from, and ring Jake Seabock. This <laughs> is Lulu's, shoes, Lulu's. Um, earrings, Griffin's mom, they come to me. Bail. Amazon. Amazon. And I don't know where anything else is from. What else am I wearing? Griffin. 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 David Yearman. And Golden, GLDN. Woo! bonfire this evening which I'm so excited for definitely like one of the most exciting parts of this trip but we went to the beach for like an hour but uh, last night ended up being so crazy um, I just got way more intoxicated than I planned on we were out and I literally we came home and jumped in the pool in our dresses which was so fun and then I was literally throwing up from like 1 30 to 3 30 off and on and falling asleep on the floor after throwing up like literally falling asleep right here on the floor butt naked um, in between my throw ups and it was so bad and I was like shaking because I had nothing left in me but I still felt like I needed to throw up. Finally went to bed at like 3.34, woke up at like 8.30 and could not fall back asleep because I just had the spins and my head hurt so bad and I was just crying so much. I was just so sad because I felt like this morning people were like waiting around on me but like nobody was. That was just me being worried that like people were like hungry, ready to get coffee and I was like unwell. Cause I literally could barely walk and because I just had like no strength and I couldn't really like sip water without feeling nauseous and I was just crying too because I'm the type of person when there's like a special event or something or a once in a lifetime type of day or trip I'm somebody who likes to make the absolute most of everything so the thought of this morning being wasted or like part of this day being wasted because I was feeling so sick made me so upset. That's why I have the great friends I have here and they were like, no, you have to think of it from the perspective that you just had like so much fun last night. And you know, that did cause today to be slower, but you're forgetting about the fact like why you feel so bad today. But it was just weird because like the drinking just, I, I thought it was like spaced out and everything, but I took shots and I think that that was what put things overboard for me. So we ended up calling an IV person or my friend did. She called around and found somebody to like come and give me an IV because I was like, I can't keep anything down and I need to eat. And um, she ended up coming like 12. So pretty much was just laying outside with everybody until like 12, just cause the weather was so insane this morning. It was so nice, which I was so thankful for because it just felt really good. But it's so insane because I didn't think the IVs did anything, but it literally turned me into a new person. I still feel tired because I didn't have coffee, but um, I just totally feel like I did not have that bad of a hangover this morning, but that was the worst hangover like ever, ever had. Um, and it totally turned me around, so I am definitely a big advocate of doing that. Might have to do one after like the wedding day or something now.
morning you guys I am back home now and I'm about to start another vlog but I just wanted to end off this bachelorette trip vlog and recap or whatever this video ended up being my voice is like a little bit gone and raspy just from this past weekend but I got back late last night we left kind of like later yesterday um so I didn't get to my brother's house which is about an hour away from our house um, I didn't get there until like 8.30 ish, so didn't get home till pushing 10 because I ate some dinner there. But I seriously had the best time on the trip. Literally when I got home and saw Griffin last night when he came out to my car, I literally just like started bawling my eyes out um, for a number of reasons. I'm a very emotional person as you guys know. But um, number one, because I was overwhelmed to just like see Griffin because I realized when I was driving back to our place last night, I was like, oh my gosh, I've like not really talked to Griffin. <laughs> like in the last week the whole time from when I was gone like Tuesday to yesterday on Sunday we didn't talk on the phone at all and we literally have not not talked on the phone since probably we were away in our first few months of dating when we've been away from each other and he obviously like just gave me my space and everything on the bachelorette trip so he would just like text me what he was up to um and I would like occasionally respond with pictures here and there so I was so overwhelmed just like overjoyed to see him but also like it just really hit me how thankful I am to have the friendships I have. Seeing like everybody in one place at once and just like being all together and having that quality time together meant the literal world to me and it just made me cherish my friendships even more than I already do because it really hit me and made me realize like how much it sucks, you know, like being far from most of those people because only two of them are here in Houston which I'm so thankful for that. It was just like such a reminder of how blessed I am with like such great genuine friendships and friendships that have withstood the test of time and distance. I hadn't even seen my college roommate in like three years so it was just so crazy and it was so amazing to see everybody's personalities just kind of like seamlessly come together even though everybody is so wildly different but also very similar in ways and to have everybody there just supporting me and supporting this next chapter of my life and having a good time together it was seriously like everything i could have wished for and more it wouldn't have been that way without them you know what i mean like they are what made the weekend so special it wasn't being in 30a it wasn't going to nice restaurants or going out and getting drunk it was who i was spending my time with yeah thank you all so much for watching this video i'll have the links to everything down below and i I'm posting like a reel of just like a little recap and I have an Instagram highlight on my Instagram, my personal Instagram, that outlined like everywhere we went for anybody who's interested in going to 30A because as y'all know, with growing up in the area, like I chose some of my favorite places and I'll have everything like that I can link down below from just like outfits and everything this weekend. And I'm also gonna do a podcast recap episode because somebody commented on my Instagram post. I did like a bloopers Instagram code post kind of of just like outtakes from the weekend from like the less aesthetic pictures and everything just to kind of be more authentic about the trip and not only show like these super aesthetically pleasing pictures. And one of you guys commented like we need a bachelorette like episode recap on the podcast. So on my podcast, which is in Bloom Podcast, I think I'll do that just because I think it'll be like a fun memory and like a fun recap. I know not many people care about it, but for those of you who do, that will be there um, next week, which will probably be when this, the same day this video is going up or right around that time. So if you want to hear more details about what you've seen in this video and just about the trip in general, what we did and all that stuff. And I'm going to like kind of make it in a more of an intentional episode by including things that we did that I think made the trip so much more of a seamless experience. That way there's some added value in there and I'm not just like talking about a trip that I went on, you know what I mean? So, I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and be sure to subscribe if you're already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and turn on post notifications so you don't miss an upload and follow me on all my social media link down below and check out my podcast and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye!